Good afternoon. Let's take a few moments for prayer. Good and loving God, be with us this day. Quiet our minds for a few moments so we may hear your voice. And as we listen to your voice, almighty God, send us your grace and your love. Remind us that you are ever present as we travel on our life's journey. Today, we especially ask you to bless these graduates and all those who have helped them reach this fantastic moment, their parents, especially their mothers, as we celebrate their day too, their extended family, our faculty, our staff, their friends, and all who send these students their love. This truly is a day of celebration. And after successfully completing their academic requirements, we pray that the Spirit of Christ touches these graduates, sending them wisdom in mind, success in challenges, courage to find a vocation, strength to do their best, and most importantly, faith to guide them in whatever they do and wherever they go. We pray this through Christ our Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Jay. Now, please be seated. Commissioner Selig, Abbott Neville, our esteemed generals, Norbertine fathers, trustees, faculty, administrators, staff, and last but not least, certainly, the members of the class of 2013. On behalf of St. Norbert College, let me welcome the graduates and their families, friends, and guests who are here to celebrate this joyous occasion. And most of all, as Jay said, congratulations to you moms who are here sharing your special day with us. Commencement not only is a time of celebration, but of tradition. And assuming one of our longstanding tradition, traditions holds, quite a few of you will find your way over to the Malva Library today to have your picture taken with our founder, Abbott Pennings, who continues to keep watch over us all from his marble perch there in the skylit entry. The statue of Abbott Pennings was sculpted in 1964. And pretty much ever since, our graduates have made him an unofficial part of their SNC leave taking. Yet I wonder in that half century of snapshots, how many of our grads in their excitement took the time to look at the quotation from the Abbott that is carved into the base. Let us love one another. Five words, a sentiment as simple and yet as complicated as it gets. The Abbott's motto, of course, is a big part of our legacy. It goes straight to the heart of the Norbertine concept of communio, the value we are most expected to stand for, the one we are uniquely called to represent as citizens of St. Norbert College. When we survey our graduates about what they carried away from their time at SNC, and it really doesn't matter whether they have been away from campus three years or 30, the one aspect they virtually all cite is the sense of community they experienced here. We are gratified by that as we know it is real. When they are responding to this question, however, many of our alums no doubt have in mind the lasting friendships they forged here, the specific groups and organizations they were a part of, the feeling they had of belonging to something larger than themselves, or the warmth of their overall college experience. All of those things are important and valuable, but community is not necessarily communio. It is easy to feel a sense of community when we're surrounded by people with interests and backgrounds and experiences similar to our own. Communio, on the other hand, means an even deeper commitment to one another. It's a higher calling and a harder one to keep. To truly live communio means creating an environment where all are included and connected. All are welcome. 
all are part of the fabric of our extended family. And this must be true even when we don't have similar interests or backgrounds or believe in the same things. In a place of communio, no one is marginalized. No one is the other. In other words, it's an ideal. And ideals are never easy. In reinforcing Christ's fundamental teaching, Abbot Pennings knew well that loving one another is anything but easy. But that's precisely why it's so necessary. It's the effort we owe our God and one another. So my sincere hope is that as you leave St. Norbert College, you take with you not only a strong feeling of community, but a commitment to truly live communio in every aspect of your lives. And wherever life's paths take you, never lose the one that will bring you back here. Stay in touch with St. Norbert College and come back often. We who live and work here count on that unending connection. With your witness, we will find ourselves renewed. And with your support, we will ensure that the next generation also comes to understand what it means to truly love one another.